Hello! This video will show you how to download and get started with AVA Desktop. AVA Desktop is available on Windows and Apple computers. So let's jump in. First, let's download AVA Desktop to your computer. To do that, open up your browser and type in the URL ava.me forward slash captions. This will download AVA to your computer. Once AVA has been downloaded, open the file and go through the following steps to install. Once you have opened the file, drag and drop AVA into your Applications folder. Now, go ahead and open AVA. Once you have AVA open, go ahead and click on Sign In in the top right corner. Scroll down and click on Use Work Email. Make sure to use the email that is associated with your AVA account. Once you're signed in, AVA is all ready for you to use. Go ahead and click on Start Captions Now to get instant captions. And there you have it. AVA will become a floating captioning box that can sit over any window. If you want to use AVA for any conference calls or Zoom meetings, you are definitely welcome to do that. Go ahead and open up the conference call or Zoom meeting. Once you are in the Zoom meeting, make sure that the volume on your computer is raised all the way to maximum volume. That way, Ava can hear what is happening. Once you're in the Zoom call, Ava will caption anything that it hears. If you'd like to expand the captions so that it's in full screen mode, go ahead and click these arrows on the right side. This will show Ava in full transcript mode where you can see the entire transcript. If you'd like to type a response, you may do so by clicking on the keyboard icon here. If you want to end the conversation, click on the X on the right. Additionally, you can open up the side menu for more options. Once you're done with the conversation, click on the red X and you'll be directed to be able to save your transcript. That way, you can refer to the conversation for future reference. If somebody has already started an AVA room, you can enter their AVA name here to join. That's all for now. Make sure to visit our FAQ section for more help.